That's gonna be in there. I was trying to add good sound effects. Oh. Uh, good, thank you. So it is a rainy day here in North Texas, but Eric and I have enjoyed our time here at this campground. Even though the wait for the new RV was longer than anticipated, that's okay. We are headed to the Adult Lounge Center to watch the NASCAR race in Phoenix. So um, there are some things that I wanted to address. Um, but we're gonna go enjoy the day and then I'll check back in with you guys um, to discuss some things. Long time no nada. <laughs> well, I'm driving, we are driving. Eric is in the Murata. I'm in Edna. Josie's with me. He's back there. And we are headed to store the van. And I got a little emotional. I tried to vlog last night and talk about things, but there's a lot happening, a lot of things that are changing, and it is hard saying goodbye to Edna, putting her up and She's been a good vehicle for me. Eric said goodbye to Yoda yesterday, so it's a lot all at once. So we're just trying to, you know, take it slow, take some deep breaths and realize that in order for to make this life that we want to happen, we just have to make these sacrifices. And everyone's making sacrifices, even the kitty cats, so. We'll be leaving Texas soon too, which I've been in Texas since December, so it's time for sure. Let me see what I can update you guys with <laughs> while we drive. So yeah, I did think about selling the van. I'm just, I'm just not ready. It's my first RV, I'm a little attached to it. And actually, it's my first home that I've ever bought. I have always lived in apartments, rented, and so this is literally my first home. Yes, it's a home on wheels and it's small, but still. So yeah, there's a lot of emotion and stuff attached to it, so I'm just not quite ready to sell yet. Um, that may change in a few months. It may change by the end of the year. I don't know. Um, but for now, it just makes sense to keep it insured and store it in a safe spot. And then I guess I will address the issue of selling it later on. Um, I have received a lot of interest in buying the van, so that was cool. Um, I haven't talked to anyone about prices or anything like that, but I don't know. I kind of would like to test the waters a little bit if you are a serious uh, if you are serious and you're interested, um, not anytime soon though, because, uh, you know, just just give me some time. But if you're looking in for a van, a Class B in the next, I don't know, year, <laughs> by the end of the year, I don't know, send me an email and we can talk and I can send you some specs and tell you the history and all of that. Um, my email address is in the description box, Angela underscore M underscore 410 at mail.com. So yeah, I... It's not that I'm trying to abandon my channel, I'm not giving up, it's nothing like that. I actually have wanted to update. I have a ton of footage from boondocking in Texas, from uh, camping in Texas at Thousand Trails. Uh, I have footage from Key West, I have footage from Daytona and all of these things and I just, uh, I had some issues with my computer, so I had to get a new computer and then I had to switch all my files over and then my editing software updated and all my old files I couldn't use so I had to start from scratch from editing. So anyways, 
long story, blah, 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 you're not interested, but just know that I have wanted to, I just haven't gotten the point to do it because of X, Y, and Z. And then going back and forth to Florida, spending time with friends and family before I leave, and also I've been working a little on the side. So it's just a lot. And then moving, it, moving out of my van and into the rig and getting things stored, um, and organized and going back and forth to Burleson. It's just, it's been a lot. And also trying to nurture this relationship and make sure that, you know, everything's all good, making sure the cats are fine. So it's, it's been a lot of work. So I do apologize that I have not updated. And if this video is edited very poorly, please know it's because I've been driving all day and I'm tired AF, okay? All right. I guess I want to talk, this is going to be me driving and talking, so deal with it, okay? I'm sorry. I, I guess I want to talk about this whole thing with Eric and I. I um, there's, there's been a lot of positive feedback, and you have no idea how much the both of us appreciate it. Even though we're not able to comment or reply back to your wonderful comments, please know that we do read them. I see them and um, for all of the negative comments that we receive there's three times as many positive comments so please know that we need that we, we really do because the negativity just it never ends when you put your life online but I I'm a little apprehensive of sharing a lot because I still feel like we deserve some privacy. Just know that we have made this commitment. We have, we're committed to this relationship. We're committed to this lifestyle. So that's all you need to know. That's it. Okay. Okay. Am I engaged? Are we engaged? Yes, we are engaged. Do we have a date for marriage? No. No, we're gonna be engaged for quite a while. I promise. Let's see what else. Oh, about me being shy on camera or me being awkward on camera or not happy or depressed or not into this relationship or blah, blah, blah. I can assure you that it's just because you don't know me, you don't know my personality, you don't know anything about me you've probably only watched one of my videos and you come to some conclusion that I'm, I'm this or I'm that and and I have to say that for those of you that follow Eric that don't know squat about me I am an introvert I'm quiet I'm introspective but I'm also fun funny silly goofy and Eric accepts me as I am he loves me for who I am so I hope that in time you will too. If not, then keep your mean comments to yourself is all I can say basically. Um, you know, and that's okay. Eric and I don't have to be ex the same exact kind of people. He's loud and boisterous and I'm just not. And that is okay, okay? That's okay. And this 18 wheeler is riding my butt. And I also wanted to say that, you know, for the negative Nellies out there that think they've got everything figured out. Oh, well, you guys were together and then he dumped you in the middle of the desert and you came back to him because you're weak and all of this. You, <laughs> that was a year ago, guys. Do you know what has happened in that year? No, you don't. And we kept it that way for a reason. We kept everything off of YouTube. There's been some things that have gone down and it's not any of your concern. So don't think you've got everything figured out just because you've seen one video and you listen to some stupid troll videos that think they know everything. Because you don't. We have been in contact since the day we broke up. There was only a, a moment of about, I want to say like three months that we didn't talk. Well, I've been, it, I've been in it since day one. I've always wanted things to work out between us. And so my heart never really left and so 
that's I think that's why it hurts me to hear some of his longtime viewers put me down and say that I'm not into this relationship and I'm not sacrificing like Eric is or I'm not this or I'm not that. I Woo! You don't even know. You have no idea what I've sacrificed. You have no idea what I've gone through this past year to get to this point where we're at now. No idea. And I'm not about to to say anything. Just know that I love him. I do. I love Jax and and I'm very happy, even though I don't smile 24-7, 365, I have resting bitch face. I'm sorry. I do love Eric very much. He is my friend, and I am I feel very fortunate to be in this position to share our lives together, finally, in one rig, and, and explore, and see friends, and meet his family, and all of that stuff. So... Yeah, now that that's out of the way, let's get to the next topic. We're, we're just not the kind of couple that's going to try and prove our love to anyone. Like, oh, look how in love we are. We're going to make out on camera. Or, uh, that's just not us. It's not... We're, we don't have anything... We don't have anything to prove to anyone. We're in love. And that's it. If you don't believe it or you think we're using each other for whatever reason, then that's cool. You can think that. I really don't care. There's been a lot that, ha that has changed. So, just, I guess, all I can ask of you is to please be patient, which is the theme of my channel lately, <laughs> it seems. Because we need to get, like, get into a routine. We need to get in a groove of, this is our daily, but... For the past few months, it's just been go, 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 do this, do that, and and we just need a moment to like rest and regroup, as Eric says, and get get a routine going to where there's some normalcy again. We're back on the road. We're in one rig. We need to just get. We need to be. We just need to be, and I can get back to filming and maybe showing you some of our domestic life. That's what I've been kind of wondering what, what you would want to see. Like, so leave me some suggestions in the comment section of what you would like to see for future videos from me, from this channel. Um, I can't wait to start cooking meals. Like, we're going to get a crock pot and a George Foreman grill. And so we're going to do, be doing that, doing um, more healthy eating for sure. <laughs> that has to happen. Um, and of course we're going to show you um, the interaction between the kitty cats. Yeah, so my bike and my bike rack are on the Murata. We are looking forward to getting Eric another bike. <laughs> he just got rid of his not too long ago the folding one, but we're going to get him a real mountain bike. So I'm looking forward to that. But what do I feel about our new home? I love it. Um, it's really nice and obviously it's so roomy. And it's funny because when we first got it, before we moved in, we're like, gosh, look at all this room. We have so much storage. Now that all of our stuff is in it, we're like, um, yeah, this isn't as big as we thought it was. Because we're combining everything that I had in my van, which is 19 feet, and in Yoda, which was 24 feet. So if you do the math, and this rig is only 32 feet, well, yeah. We had to get rid of some stuff, and we still need to get rid of some stuff to lighten the load and to get everything organized and figured out, but we'll get there. But it is very nice to have, an, have a bedroom. It's weird. We have a bedroom with a door. I mostly want to say that I'm not giving up on my channel. I know it seems that way, and I do apologize, especially to my longtime viewers. I'm sorry been on my list of things to do and it's always the thing that's like I always put off because I feel like 
oh, I need to have my hair done, I need to have my face done, and all these things, when in reality, I lived in this van on the road for nearly three years. And 98% of the time, uh, my hair was not done, my makeup was not done, so why am I concerned about it now? Either you accept me or you don't. So take it as it is, and this is me fresh out of the shower. So deal with it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll see you later, okay? It's not goodbye, it's see you later. Yeah. I'll miss you. <sighs> well, I put up every reflected shade I had in every window. And we're parked kind of in the shade, so I think Hopefully nothing will melt or burst inside, although everything is pretty much put away. Everything should be locked. Okay. What do you think, baby? <laughs> I love you. Just waiting for Dad to come pick us up, huh? Oh, I'm tired. Hi, baby. Did you have a long day? Yeah, it was a long day of driving, huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hi, hey, bud. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Yeah, we're all exhausted, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, well, hey there. Come here. Or not. Miss Lau? You tired too? Come. Hi. No, it's not food. Hey, buddy. for bed? Is it bedtime? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can I get some kisses? Yes. No kisses? No kisses for me. He's like, get out of my face, woman! Yes, I'm exhausted. We are all very tired, and it's time to go to bed. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> I gotta get used to having another person. I haven't shared my life with anyone in such close quarters in quite some time, so... It's gonna take some time to get used to, but that is why there is a lock on the bathroom door, right? But Eric doesn't use it. I use it though, so I'm sorry this video was so long, but I needed an update, so there you go. I hope you got something out of today's video, got some questions answered or figured out some stuff. I don't know. My brain is mush. I can't even I'm so tired, so we are going to sleep so well tonight, we are plugged in, got the heater going, and we don't have to get up early tomorrow, yay, so we are going to sleep in, I'm excited, we're going to take our time waking up, drink some coffee, and mosey on down the road, not too far away, and I'm excited because this is actually the first time that Eric and I are both really in the RV together and we're headed west. Both of the other RVs are gone and this is, this is it. 
this is real now. Shit's getting real, folks. <laughs> Alright, well, see you hopefully much sooner in the next video.